It might surprise you that manufacturers of all kinds of things unfairly restrict their customers' repair options, intentionally making repairs more difficult and more expensive. Whether it's by using proprietary screws that prevent you from easily accessing your devices, software locks that prevent you from replacing parts, or simply refusing to provide parts to anyone other than authorized service providers. We think that these manufactured roadblocks are unethical, unsustainable, and should not exist. That's where Right to Repair comes in. The Right to Repair movement is fighting to prevent these limitations by proposing laws with three main goals. Preserving your right to open your stuff, increasing access to tools and parts, and ensuring independent repair shops stay in business. Right to Repair laws have been proposed in 38 of 50 US states, most aiming to preserve owners and independent repair shops' right to access parts, tools, and documentation. And it's not just the US either. Many countries around the world are fighting for better repair laws. France now requires that manufacturers label their goods with repairability scores, which helps people pick fixable stuff. And the European Parliament and Australian governments are both considering right to repair legislation this year. And our efforts are paying off. Just last week, the New York State Legislature passed an electronics right to repair bill. As of mid-2023, manufacturers who sell digital electronic products in New York will have to make parts, tools, information, and software available to consumers in independent repair shops. This victory is the biggest the right to repair movement has seen so far, and we're just getting started. Repair saves people money. It's good for the environment, and it teaches people how their stuff works. As a global society, we can't afford to keep making as much stuff as we do, and we certainly can't afford to throw this much of it away. A legally protected right to repair will help us get our stuff fixed at reasonable prices, it'll bolster jobs, it'll encourage healthy competition, and it will expand our ability to choose more repairable things. The right to repair is the future, and it just makes sense. Want to join the fight? In the US, see the Repair Association. In Europe, Repair.eu. In Canada, CanRepair. And in Australia, the Australian Repair Network.